Hello, hi everybody. So today we got to play Aquatica. It's very pretty. Um, it is a water-based deck building, <laughs> um, deck building game that basically your goal is you, you have a kingdom and you're trying to prosper your kingdom by um, diving the depths of the ocean and trying to find new locations and new resources. Um, and then you also meet new aquatic beings that help you along your way. Um, so overall, um, difficulty level would be, I'd probably say very light medium. Very light medium. I mean, it's, it's concepts, as long as you've, you're familiar with any kind of deck building, uh, this game is gonna be very simple to you. Um, if you're not, it introduces it in a very easy way. It, it, the instructions, they, they're actually fairly long as far as page-wise, but they're very big print, very large, very lots of pictures and a lot of demonstrations of some of which I think are excessive, but it, it's not complex reading. Uh, it's very yeah. straightforward. I did think the rules were very straightforward and that... Well, we'll get to that. Don't jump ahead. You already got ahead. I just wanted to explain it's not that difficult for a new, yes. new person to learn. Uh, and, and certainly if you're familiar with any kind of deck building game, uh, it, there's a lot of feeling of ascension in this game. Um, so it's not that overly complex. And it's, you know, it's... It's it's got enough differences that I think it's you know certainly interesting on its own. Yeah, um, I so first we always talk about quality of pieces. I think the biggest concern I had with this game was the card quality. I loved the little manta rays and the mm -hmm. flipping aspect. Except I thought, for I wish they would have printed them the other way. That really bothered my OCD ness that they put the, the important aspects on its belly so that when you're playing it most of the time, the belly is going to be up, which would indicate the manta ray died, which is kind of sad. <laughs> so, um, but I did like it. I mean, I thought these were great films. Yes. I thought these were perfect. Um, I loved the art, the theme, the boards, like um, the sliding aspect, the actual player boards themselves were fantastic. But really the card quality. Yes. I, that's, that, that's where it, the, the sad thing about this game is that the card quality, it, it's the, the we are we don't normally sleeve on the first play. We sleeve these right away because we had cards peeling before we ever even got under the table. Um, that's a real problem. Uh, the texture is not there. It's just smooth textured. It's very generic. But the real problem are these location cards because we didn't sleeve these for a reason and we'll get to that when we get into gameplay. But these are going to be a real problem in this game. We're going to probably have to replace this game if we play it a lot uh, because these are going to get worn out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of components to the game besides the card. So it's mostly a card bit game and the manta rays. And the manta rays are, yeah, these are. Well, I mean, well, even, well but made. like the player boards, they did really well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's just like. You went like so far, but yet you gave us cheap cards and that was really kind of a bummer. Yeah. So for that, what would you score that? As far as quality, I'm gonna give it probably a six just because of the mana rays. I mean, these are well made and they're really cool looking. Yeah. Um, apart from the being dead to use them. But um, as far as the cards, that really takes away. I mean, if, if it hadn't been for that, I'd probably give it seven or eight. Um, yeah, I agree. I would have given it eight if it wasn't for the poor quality. And because of that, I think it drags it down to a six because the cards are one of the main components in this game. Mm -hmm. And so it was really a bummer. Like I was getting the plastic off of them and some of them had already started to peel. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. So I was really very sad about that. Um, all right, so let's talk about theme. I loved the theme. I loved the ocean concept. Um, this A is very pretty. <laughs> it's also very pretty. It's very blue, which I love. So yeah, I love sharks and you know fish in general. So this was you know a very appealing theme to me. It's layered on clearly. I mean, and the manta rays obviously are just a attract it to the, the fish theme motif, but it could be any theme on this game. There's well, really... but, but not you know. I, I th it's different though from your standard build because most of your 
Standard deck builders are like fantasy based. And so, uh, yes. so this this is something new and different that you don't see a lot of card games for, because I think a lot of card games now are just straight up fantasy. And this brings something a little bit different to the table. Yeah, no, I mean, it's an appealing theme and it's, it's just, it doesn't, it's not really incorporated into the gameplay. It's just, it is there. I mean, well, the, no, the, 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 the when depths, we get into the, the gameplay with the depths, I mean, there is some of that, but it, again, it, that's just moving levels. There's really no reason it should be this theme over something else, but I'm glad it is. Yeah. So, so what would you, what would you rate it? Uh, probably a seven. I mean, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't add to anything except for the fact that it's cool and the pretty colors and, you know, it's, it's appealing to us. If you're not into aquatic wildlife or sharks or mermen or anything like that, or mermaids, you're probably not going to be real interested in this theme, but you know, it's something that well, like I, like. for I love going to the aquarium. I love the fish and sharks. So this is appealing yeah, to me that's... much more so than what a Dungeons and Dragons or anything like that. Well, but be. that can be said for any theme, right? Yeah. Like, so it really depends. Um, your, yeah. your, your taste may vary, but I'm giving it a seven. Uh, I'm going to give it an eight because I just really liked it. I, I love, if you're putting art here, I love the art. Yeah. The um, art is pretty. And I love yeah. how they incorporated the theme into the mechanics of the game. It's, you know, some of the cards, I'm sure that we can show you some on camera here later. Uh, but there's lots of pretty art in this game. And then the big art cards as well. Yeah. Are, they're, they're more cartoonish, I would say, than the, the location. Yeah, these are. are more fantasy. This is more realistic, which... Yeah, well, if you have buildings and people swimming around below the ocean, I guess they're realistic, but... Well, I meant, like, this one is just some sharks. Anyway, mm -hmm. so, um, but yeah. Um, then next we talk about rules, which we kind of already touched a bit a little bit. I actually had to read the rules for this one. I read the rules up to... Um, excuse me? I read half of the rules. Okay, you read part of the rules. That, that's your That's way MO. more than... That is, you read further than, but I had to start over when you left. So, um, <laughs> I've learned some stuff beforehand. Yes. So I actually thought the rules were pretty straightforward. They were easy to read. Mm -hmm. There was plenty of pictures to show yes. you what everything was. So as far as rules go, they were fine. Like I could have finished it if I didn't get hungry and wanted yeah. to. Yeah. The only grievance I'm going to, because I always have to have at least one, uh, with the rules is in the um, symbology. You know, there's really no, there is a guide for it at the end and that's fine, this works well. It'd be nice if this was on a cheat sheet as opposed to in the book. That's really the big thing. Yeah, I could um, have seen a cheat sheet card would have been, would've, would've and, been useful. And during the read of the rules, there's really no reference to these icons. It's, you know, there's talk about what you do during the play but I had to go online and actually catch that I missed something on one of the cards before we started because it made no sense. It looked like you discarded every time and there was no way to reclaim your cards until I saw the icon and then it said all, which meant it was basically a cleanup card. And that, you know, it would have been nice to have had a little more clarity while you're reading the rules to that. Because at first I was like, this is going to be a really difficult game if we have to discard a card in, after one use and there's really not a great way to get them back. But it turned out it was really simple. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the book is is pretty well done. Uh, and it's very, it's got probably more examples than you really need. Because there's a few where it's like, okay, I got it with the first caught picture, but you gave me two more. Um, but I'd rather be over than, than underdone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I think I would rate the rules. Um, I, I would say either an eight or a nine. I'm not sure because they, I mean, they weren't fascinating, but they were clear and they were there. So probably an eight. I'd probably give them an eight. I, I'm tough on rules. I, I'll give this one, I would give it a more of a six or a seven, but I'll probably lean to seven just because I'm being very, like, very generous today. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. It's really pretty well done. It's just there's a few holes in it, and really, this but needed a, few a cheat holes, sheet. For... There was one hole, and it did not have a cheat yeah. sheet. Well, the cheat so sheets then... are a big one because all there's a lot of iconography in this, and it would be really useful as a player to have that in front of you instead yeah. of having to look at a book to see that. We did have to pass around that book a couple of times because because of, of 
you know, just making sure that we were correct in what each symbol means. So I guess missing a, a cheat sheet, and it could have been just a simple card that yeah. could have had everything yeah. on it and it could have covered there's, that. There's only a handful of icons. It would have been nice to have had those in front of you yeah. while you're playing. Front and back and it would have been mm -hmm. straightforward. Let's talk about gameplay next. So overall, I love the gameplay. There are several different pieces that I actually make think this game uh, makes me think that this game is different than some of the other um, typical card games. Uh, one of the things that I absolutely loved um, is the way the scoring mechanisms work on the locations of the cards. So um, some of that gameplay is that the you obviously go search the location with one of your workers or one of your cards and then it gets pulled into your player board and in your player board it gets um, located it slides in which I think that's actually a really cool mechanism for this game and then um, it has different resources or actions that you can take while it slides and you continue to slide it up until you finally when you have no more actions or resources left then you can actually score the card I haven't seen uh, a mechanic like that normally it's just okay you play a card you get the resources and if you score it the resources go to, go away but in this case it's different because you can change what resources you have on the card you can't go back down but you can always go further up they can change it so overall i thought that was a really cool mechanism i think it's really the only mechanism that differentiates this game from any other deck builder on the market i mean if, if it, you take that out it, this is ascension i mean there's deck, cards in a tableau you can buy uh, the, the, you have constructs up here that you can either buy or, or uh, attack, which, you know, that is basically the way it works. And in, in Ascension, you have things that either use military or money to buy. So it's not any different. Yeah, but you're than, not attacking another player. No, no, in, you, you're not in Ascension either. It's oh, a, so, separate one. I was yeah, thinking you're thinking of a different game. So there's really no difference between this and most of your deck builders. The only unique thing is the locations, and they are extremely unique. And, you know, the concept is that you're, as you mentioned, that you're going to move up down, down this track as you're going further and further into the depths of the ocean. And once you finally finish, you can use a scoring action to score the card and remove it from your tableau. And that's what keeps you. You have five slots in your tableau. So eventually you're, you're going to fill those up unless you do score them. But while they're there, you get ongoing benefits. So there's resources that you can get. And there's actions. The resources are not depleted, so you get them every round, unless you choose to pass them up, which is a neat idea. The the um, only problem with the game from this is they don't differentiate very well at all from the card that what is a resource and what is an action. So you have to look in the manual to see that, or it would have been nice to have that as a cheat sheet. And this is really or it would would have been the the thing, the component from the cheat sheet that most used is looking and say, okay, this is an action and this is, this is not an action because that's really a major component of the game. And this is where most of your scoring in the game comes from. There's really only three ways to score. It's these car, these action cards, the bonus victory point conditions where there's four during the game, which uh, it, if you play with the base game as is, it's getting uh, three of these scoring location scored or having your filled board of locations so they're a major component of those bonuses as well getting a hand of eight of these cards for action cards in your hand or getting two of these bonus manta rays which you can get from various locations so again the locations are three-fourths of the bonus cards so it's a major major focus of the game so given the fact that these, these are the major focus, we really need to have a better mechanism for tracking which ones are actions and which ones are resources. So it's a kind of a major detriment that we don't have cheat sheets and have to keep referring to the rule book. Yeah, but I, I do want to say that this mechanism is a little bit different. The You see this in other games, but I don't think you necessarily see it in card um, building, which is the victory points for certain yeah, the bonuses, the so bonuses is... were unique, and the fact that you spend your your bonus mana rays as actions that you normally get, but you have to waste them in order to use the bonuses. That was pretty cool, because um, you know it made you decide: Do I really want to cash in on this bonus right now? I'll get more victory points if I do now, but I'm sacrificing the ability to use that. Yeah, extra like bonus I waited on ray. one; like I was last place to get this one bonus, and I just 
didn't get it till the very last turn because I need I wanted to keep my mana right. So I I do think I don't I think there are a lot of interesting components to this game. I do think it is very unique, and I actually really liked it. I liked the fact that I wasn't. And for me, it's I love the idea of building my own kingdom or building. I, I'm a builder. I like to build. That's part of the reason why I like the game is to build those mechanics, to build those um, working things. And so for me, it wasn't just attack based. The only thing that I will say is that in your starter deck, there are two conquer cards and one buy um, a location card. So yeah, um, each color has their own same six cards yeah. as starter cards, and then you get one king card that is different for each player yeah so i felt like the money wasn't worth very much like you could just go straight up attack and be fine um where that wasn't necessarily the case with the coinage because of the way your starting deck is to get those cards um so that was my other thing is i wish they would have a more more useful um thing for coins um what was your take on that I, I agree the attack was the more valuable thing. I found the coins were more useful just to stack my deck with cards for the actions. Because uh, I think, you know, I, that's what won the game for me was getting those really powerful cards that let me immediately cash a completely complete a one of these location cards of one fell swoop and not have to get worried about the arrows. I could just push it all the way up. Um, so that, that was really, uh, getting those cards was really powerful. That's the only real value I saw in the money. Otherwise, for the locations, I don't think I ever used money towards those at all. It was all attack. Yeah, I did at the very beginning, but then after that, it was pretty much a mute point. So I do think there's a little balancing thing there. But overall, I still think it was a solid game. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think this was a good game. Um, what What do you think? Oh, I definitely agree. I think it's it's novel enough that I would enjoy playing it you know, multiple times and kind of ruining my whole, will I play again thing? You know, uh, I mean, I think there's enough here that adds a little bit more than just playing a, a standard deck builder and deck, deck builders have kind of been done to, to death by now after, you know, all the iterations of those. So anytime it's almost like it becomes a mechanic that you have to have as a partial game, you know, part of the game, you can't have just a dedicated deck builder anymore because they're, really not anything left to explore in that same thing with drafting games i you know just don't enjoy ones that are pure this one is is different enough from a standard deck builder that i think it's still got some some fun in it um as far as my rating i would probably get it a seven um i would actually give this an eight it's definitely I was very attracted to this game and I really did enjoy it. And I think I like it a lot more than some of our other deck builders. Um, but is that, are you weighing theme into the gameplay here or is it just pure gameplay you think? Um, I like the depth mechanic. I like the fact that I don't, I don't feel like I'm attacking any one person because I do feel that way in some of the other deck builders. Um, and I love the, like it felt more, it felt like a little bit more than just a deck builder to me. And that aspect I really did like. And that I wasn't having mm -hmm. to attack somebody. Well, there is a few attack cards. I mean, I played that Meg card, but it wasn't a huge attack. It was just discard a card. But... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's yeah, I don't really consider that full-blown attacking. Yeah. I'm not trying, you don't have an HP bar over here that I'm trying to get your number down, right? No, right. Um, so, and that, and so that's that aspect that I like about this is that, you know, and I really enjoyed like the the theme added to the gameplay. And so yeah. overall, and maybe that's more where I'm at. Maybe gameplay, maybe maybe a seven, but overall the game I feel is definitely like an eight. Mm -hmm. Um so what do you think? Yeah, I'm still sticking with my seven. You're not convincing me otherwise. No, I mean I, I don't think it's that unique that it qualifies for anything higher than a seven. I, it's it's definitely got some novel things to it and the locations are cool, but they do bring us back to the bigger problem with the cards, which we didn't talk about now, which I said I was gonna talk about. We can't sleeve these because the board is not designed to handle a sleeved card. So if you push these up here with a sleeve on, it's gonna cause problems. Um, you know, so, and not to mention finding a sleeve that fits that. I mean, there may be some Euro sleeve cards that fit that those thinner cards like that. I don't know. I'm, 
so many different custom sizes of cards anymore, but it's a real problem because the, the, the quality of the cards is going to cause these to peel. I mean, we've already seen it in the larger cards. Hopefully these will last a little longer. I don't know. We'll see. But you're shifting these up and down in this. It's, it's only inevitable if these are as bad as these other cards are that you have to sleeve them right away that we're going to run into problems with these peeling. And uh, the fact that you're moving them up and down here is not going to help that. Um, so that is a, a detriment to the game that's going to cause it potentially to not last very long is my concern. Um, but as far as the gameplay, I'm still sticking with the 7. I don't find it that much more different than what I would do any other deck builder that I think it deserves to be you know, higher rated. Yeah, well, and that's just it. I think this is better than your average deck builder. So... Um, and I, and it may be part of the theme plays into it and the overarching goal, um, which is something that I'm a little more attracted to than some of your other deck builders. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but what about overall? What would you rate it overall if you took everything into, into account? Oh, we agreed we weren't going to do this. I now know, but I kind of spot. already did. I kind of already did. I said I would give it an eight overall. Let's see, we rated... What we rated? Are you just gonna do math? It? Are you I'm gonna try, do some I'm trying, averages? I'm trying to put it on a scale. Again, five is my standard, and that's Catan. I got to put it on a scale. I think we get. What did we do the other day that we did seven on? Was that the? Uh, that was the uh, Sheriff of Nottingham, right? I think so. So I would have to. This put, is way better than Raw, and this is way way better than. <laughs> Um, Sheriff of Nottingham. Oh, I don't agree with you on that one. I'm going to put it this totally in a six. Is. I, I, it on is a scale, better than Sheriff of Nottingham. For me, I prefer, I prefer Sheriff of Nottingham by far to this game. That's because you like bluffing. So. I don't. It's okay. Yeah, it, you know, to, it, I, I, I'm going to have to stick with a six. I can't say this is a better game. If you're going to put me on a spot and make me pick a rating system that's global across all, it just isn't fair to me to try to say, and now I have to go and compare 3,000 games in my collection and figure out which one, where it fits in the hierarchy of that. <laughs> and that's not right. Um, that's so, so difficult. <laughs> yes. So I'm saying I put this one, if I put seven on the other, I'm not just get into decimals here. And, <laughs> you know, this is my day off. I don't want to be doing math. So I, I would, it's either going to be a, six point something or you know it's going to be a six if we're going to stick the solid numbers okay would you play this again oh yeah i mean I, I, the like i said the the appeal of it is this the colors and the theme and this novel action which does give you a little bit of engine building uh although i'll be at a temporary one um which i think that's the fun part though is to strategize on when exactly it is that... absolutely the only thing that is I would say is fun apart from just deck building. I mean, that's the only thing that's different. And if it had more to it, you know, I'd probably rate it higher because I'm I like prefer, prefer games that are more invested. You know, the the engine itself is fun and it makes it more novel. And I really enjoyed maximizing when to keep and keep the cards versus cash them in for score. Yeah, and I think for this is I didn't do much of the deck building for this. I really just focused on getting cards, which I think I I lost pretty significantly because of that. So next time I play, I'm gonna have to be a little more invested in actually picking up some I would, cards. I prefer you didn't because you know, then no. you're taking my cards. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be all right. I think I'll figure it out. So yeah, I mean you have to definitely balance it. I mean you you definitely don't want somebody running away with all the powerful cards, but you also don't want to give up all the you know good locations. Yeah. So was it worth the buy? I don't know how much did you end up. I What's don't recall the... what the price was, the MSRP. I don't pay MSRP, as you know. But, um, you know, as far as the um, the gameplay, I, I, I mean, the game is worth what I paid for it. I definitely would say that. I, I There's if very few games that we've reviewed, I think, that I would say I was regret that I bought. I, I can think I can think of a few. We can think of one. Yes. There's one. So one that we've reviewed so far. Well, yeah, what have we reviewed? We didn't review it, it on the... We didn't it was review, a written review. It was a written was a review. review. But yes, there's only one that I think I would say absolutely I didn't enjoy at all. That was and, totally not worth it. And money. one that I would say definitely needs some help. Yeah. Hey, if we get enough comments, what do we say? About 20 comments, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let go of the name 
Oh, um, they so can we'll... they can do the research themselves <laughs> and figure this one out. It's not rocket science here. Hey, but hey. it involves a mouse. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, but if you guys are curious, if we get enough comments and enough likes, <laughs> we'll release the information of which one we if, didn't if get. If we still this. had it in our possession, I would have released the game. What are you talking about? <laughs> so it's that bad. So. The fact that the game is no longer residing in our house, that's how bad it was. So. Yeah, I don't let anything out of this house, so... Really? No. No, he doesn't. So that's really saying something, the fact that it's not even here anymore. All right. Well, thank you guys for um, coming and visiting with us. If you like to see some more, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification so when we um, produce some more reviews, you can watch it. Um, thank you, guys. Thanks. And see you next time. Thanks.